The term maker movement has recently been used to identify a class of people who are interested in developing new products through digital technology and innovation. The movement took off in 2005, inspired by the rise of 3D printing technology. In the U.S., this growing trend emphasizes creativity and a do-it-yourself spirit, with information sharing being a large part of it. This movement has recently caught on in Taiwan. Our Sunday in-depth report. This two centimeter thick appliance is simply placed on a cardboard box, turning it instantly into a loudspeaker based upon the electronic principle of resonance. The person who thought of this idea and pursued his own research to create it is described as a maker, a new class of people who love to think about new ideas and execute them simply for the love of inventing. Everyone has a different definition of maker. It is actually an ideal. As long as you can conceptualize something or turn your thoughts into a reality with your own hands and brain or create and share with others, you are a maker. Maker culture emphasizes sharing resources and creative techniques and processes. Nations such as Britain and the United States have incorporated aspects of the maker movement into elementary school curriculums, while The Economist magazine has dubbed the movement the third industrial revolution. Many things you see, whether traditional, futuristic, or modern technology, can all be combined freely. The sky's the limit when it comes to technological progress. This young maker, Yang Yu Shou, led a team to achieve a successful Kickstarter project in 2014, allowing him to raise enough money to shoot a documentary film about the maker generation. The film explored all of the elements of this culture around the world. It described how the 10 years of its development in the U.S. influenced society, the economy, and manufacturing. What I learned about the maker movement in the U.S. has had an impact on industrial society, including its elements of education, industry, innovation, and new ways to raise funding and generate ideas. Two years ago, Yang met another maker in Taiwan, Daniel Lin. Together they raised funding for the Future Ward, which is a 300-ping shared workspace in Taipei Datong University. The first empty space is for organizing meetings, parties, classes, and work camps. The second one is a maker space for different crafts, such as laser cutting, 3D printing, goldsmithing, and handicrafts. Our main purpose is to lower the financial threshold for creating inventions. We share the space as well as the equipment. So if there is anything you need to make, you can do it more quickly. We operate like a gym, asking for a monthly fee that lets you use all the equipment. Lowering the threshold for participation has encouraged more people to join the maker movement. Many young people are joining. We take this computer image and transmit it to the laser cutting machine that can cut any type of design that you want. Nine different felt coaster pads can be cut in 10 minutes just by using this digital image and this laser engraving machine. Creating makes me very happy. As long as I can draw something, I have the means to make something. In the past, the maker movement in Taiwan was narrowly defined as simply being the field of 3D printing. But in the past three years, it has made great progress. Its scope has expanded and clusters of similar ventures are becoming increasingly common. We have different types of products as we use different types of cement mix. As there are so many different types of cement, we can choose the variety that is the most suitable. You studied industrial design. Eight years ago, he made the first investment with his savings to create a one-of-a-kind cement ring for the marketplace. I found that the market didn't have simple designs for rings made from special materials. I hadn't seen anything like this before. Aside from my personal interest, I saw an opportunity to sell something in the market. It was just a simple idea. In the true spirit of a maker, implementation of the design is very important. This underground factory is used secret base for maker activities. 
Yu also mixes his cement designs with architectural influences to create this watch and this clock. He's also able to raise money on the internet as well as successfully market his products. In the internet age, your message can be distributed quite fast. If you distribute some interesting information, it can quickly be turned into orders. You may only have one day to turn people's interest into purchases. A quick link to a site where they can make a purchase raises the probability of more orders. For creative people, a workspace, marketing team and funding are three important weapons. These makers are working hard to overcome the past belief that the absence of funding could stall any possibility of business. With the creation of a new maker community based upon openness and sharing, many new opportunities are suddenly emerging and the barriers to business have quickly fallen.